Sarah Sanders drops a truth bomb about Senator John McCain by Rebecca DeSirio, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Sarah Huckabee Sanders was caught at Reagan International Airport late Sunday afternoon returning to Washington, D.C. The press secretary was met by a gaggle of reporters shouting questions about Senator John McCain's funeral asking if President Trump would attend, even though the deceased Arizona senator had banned him. Well, Sanders dropped a truth bomb regarding John McCain, and Trump supporters are cheering. Sometimes it's not what someone says, but how he says it. As Sarah Sanders was caught leaving Reagan International Airport, she was met by reporters surrounding her, and they were all shouting questions about John McCain. One reporter yelled, Sarah, the country lost an icon in Senator John McCain this week. That's a dig, right? How should he be remembered? Well, Sarah just kept walking and looked very irritated. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a great loss for our country, responded Sanders with a tinge of sarcasm. The press secretary seemingly wasn't buying McCain as an American icon, and she refused to stop walking, even though the reporter said, we know the president sent his condolences to the family, but will he attend the funeral? Um, yeah, we'll let you know, retorted the press secretary, dismissing him and McCain's funeral as anything remotely important to the White House. Sarah Sanders dropped a truth bomb on the frenzied press, who have been canonizing John uh, McCain as a saint ever since he passed away. If Sarah Sanders really thought McCain's passing was this truly iconic moment for America, she would have stopped walking long enough to praise him. Her face says it all as she looked at the reporter who called him an icon with utter contempt. The mainstream media are treating his death like the passing of Mother Teresa all because they love uh, reports that McCain banned Trump from his funeral. Of course, they disregarded the truth. The truth about John McCain is that he betrayed his own constituents and the Republican Party when he was the one vote we needed to completely banish Obamacare forever as he proudly stood up and gave the thumbs down voting with the Democrats. The truth about John McCain is he was colluding with Hillary Clinton during the 2016 president, presidential election. McCain admitted he went to Nova Scotia to meet with British spy Christopher Steele to pick up the bogus Trump-Russia dossier, and then the Arizona senator took the fake report straight to disgrace fired FBI Director James Comey. He even admitted he was the one to promote and pass on the salacious lies against Trump, hoping to get Hillary Clinton elected. McCain wrote, he told me he knew a former MI6 officer by the name of Christopher Steele, who had been commissioned to investigate connections between the Trump campaign and Russian agents, as well as potential compromising information about the president-elect that Russian President Vladimir Putin allegedly uh, possessed. On May 22, 2018, after the Trump-Russia dossier was outed as a bought and paid for smear campaign by Hillary and her cabal, McCain defended his actions, saying anyone who doesn't like it can go to hell, McCain said, adding that he would do it again. Of course he would, because he's a traitor. That's, that's what he is. We now know the dossier has proven to be a completely fabricated, and certainly McCain uh, knew it was a pack of lies, but he didn't care. He told Americans who elected Trump, we could all go straight to hell. And that's why I said, rotten hell, that's what I said to him. Yep. In 2008, when McCain got the GOP nomination for president, hardcore conservatives were extremely disappointed. So his campaign brought on firebrand conservative Sarah Palin to run as his VP. Uh, McCain also threw Palin under the bus after the campaign failed, blaming her for the loss. 
Sarah Palin admitted that it hurt a bit to hear Senator uh, John McCain say he wished he picked Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman as his running mate in 2008. I don't lie, so I'll tell you a bit. You know, I think uh, I described it earlier as a gut punch, Palin told NBC News in an interview. We'd be remiss if we did not mention that McCain was a prisoner of war and that he did suffer at the hands of Viet Cong. But that doesn't mean we can excuse his underhanded political machinations, which clearly hurt this great nation. Now reports are McCain asked for Barack Obama and George W. Bush to give the eulogies. Isn't that strange? Obama hammered Bush and McCain back in 2008, saying American promise uh, has been threatened by eight years under President Bush and that John McCain represented a continuation of policies that undermine the nation's economy. Listen to what Obama was spewing and imperiled its standing around the world. Well, he won out of voter fraud, now it shows. The old Washington, D.C. swamp dwellers all stick together, and so McCain became embroiled with the Obama-Hillary cabal of Trump haters working to oust our duly elected president. So as the mainstream media shower the deceased Arizona senator with praise and adulation, American patriots aren't buying that John McCain was a saint. He single-handedly worked against our president every chance he got. And I, I just saw a headline about the Antifa, some kind of rally that they had. I don't know where it was. But they were chanting, uh, like, uh, good that McCain is dead. So what does that tell you, stupid McCain? What does that tell you, 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 you basement dweller or swamp dweller, whatever you want to call them? Uh, you see, Antifa was uh, screaming, John McCain is dead, yay, you know, like what? Like, are you kidding me now? And look what this idiot stood up for. Do you see? Do you see? This is a piece of crap. That's no, no icon. He's a piece of crap. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.